Hello, good evening. Sensya na kayo, medyo na late ka. Uy. Wait na. Alright, so kung narinig nyo ako, uh, say yes. So I can, I can start discussing. So kanina, nagtry kami na mag uh, test dry run ng Google Class which is ang gagamitin natin is Google Classroom or Google Meeting which is maganda at nag positive naman so makikita nyo yung mga sarili nyo isa-isa na nakikinig kayo then may possible din na makita nyo ako pag in yung camera ko then same lang din sa ginagawa natin so ang kaibahan lang doon kapag uh, may tanong kayo, pwede lang kayo mag-raise ng hand nyo. So, makikita kayo. Then, pwede ko kayong i-enter na yun on the spot. Ha? So, on process pa lang naman yun. Hopefully, magiging work. Uh, mag-work sa atin. Anyway, um, our class for today is about skeleton. Actually, naubos na natin lahat ng nasa learning strand to eh. Siguro mga 2 weeks na lang tayo, tansya ko. Yes. Kasi ito, parang ito na lang yung nakita ko na hindi pa naituro eh. Um, ano ba to? Our lesson for today is about skeletal system. So, we will discuss the skeletal system. Lesson 1 for tonight. Then, uh, ano ba yun? Sana yun, no? Then later on, yung uh, structure of skeletal system, structure of a bone, common injuries and diseases. So, lahat naman sa atin merong tinatawag ng buto eh. So, what about this demo, uh, what about, uh, what is this module about? So, imagine yourself building a house. Nakakita na ba kayo ng gumagawa ng bahay? What is the first thing you would do? Uh, what are the first structures you would put up? So, I would probably set up the supporting post. Yung mga column na post eh. Yun yung mga ano. Foundation, maguhukay muna kayo ng foundation. Uh, because you need to form a framework for that house. Sa construction ng tawag dun, form works. Pero sa atin, kung iahain lang tulad mo siya, framework. So, bago niya i-add yung iba't ibang parts na probably eh, magre-rely din dun sa structure na ginawa niyo. Paano kapag uh, mahina yung mga post ninyo? Ano mangyayari? So, yung bahay nyo, possible na mag-crumble sa ground, gumuho. So, ang katawan ng tao, binubuo din siya na para rin siyang bahay na ginagawa natin. Kailangan din ng framework. Uh, meron din mga supporting structures that maintain the shape of the body and make it function well in your body so the framework is provided by the skeletal system and yun yung framework na nagsusupport sa atin so ito ay gawa sa series of bones buto na magkakadugtong at nagsusupport sa isa't isa at nagkakaroon na ito yung dahilan kaya meron tayong shape na tinatawag so, sa module na ito, matututunan natin kung ano-ano yung mga parts at paano sila nag-ooperate. Malalaman din natin kung ano yung mga injuries, diseases na pwedeng makaharm sa skeletal system. 
at paano natin ito mapapangalaga. Okay? Ano to? Skeletal system. Yan. Most animals need a hard structure in their bodies. ba? Diba? Merong dalawang uri nung diniscuss natin dati. Merong mga walang backbone, merong may backbone. So, doon tayo sa may mga backbone. Um, to maintain the shape and provide support and protection, kailangan ng hard structure ng isang animal. Kasama tayo. Some such as squid and insect yeah, have exoskeletons yeah, or hard supporting structure found outside the body. Even though yung ano eh, yung, yung pagong, di ba, matigas yung likod niya. So, yun yung skeletal niya. However, in higher animals like mammals, tayo yun, the hard supporting structures are found inside the body. Hindi kagaya nung mga eel, yung mga suso na sa labas, yan, yung mga uh, ano ba to? Jellyfish, yan. yung mga starfish, yung mga ano nila, nasa labas. Pero sa mama, nasa loob. Ang tawag doon ay endoskeleton. Pag sa labas, exoskeleton. Pag sa loob, endoskeleton. Human beings have skeleton made up of bones. Bones are specialized hard structure that form the basic framework and supporting structure of the body. Ayan, yung mga buto. Nakakita na ba kayo ng buto? Lahat naman nakakita eh. Pero ngayon, isa sa mga buto na makikita nyo ay yung smile kayo, smile, ipin, yan, buto yan. So, yan sa mga buto. So, study natin yung components ng skeletal system. Maralaman din natin yung mga arrangement and function of bones. The skeletal system is a very important part of your body. So, let's learn. The skeletal system is composed of bones arranged in a way to provide the best possible support to the organs of the body and enable you to do a lot of things. So, naka-ano siya, naka-design siya para supportahan niya yung mga organ natin. Nabawa, yung lungs, meron tayong ribs. Ayan. Wait lang ha, may... Tapos, yung heart natin, yun, kasama na yun sa pinaprotekta ng ribs. Ano pa ba? Yung kamay natin, kung walang mga buto yan, hindi mo yan magagalaw. Nakalanta lang yan. Diba? Yung tenga mo, kung walang buto yan, hindi yan ganyan, yung shape niyan. Yung mukha mo, may buto yan. Yung skull, pinoprotekta niya yung utak ng tao. Ano pa ba? Uh, yung sa paa, yun. Lahat yun, nagpoprotekta sa katawan natin mga tao. How many bones do you think you have? Make a guess. Sa tingin nyo, ilan? Oh, yung nose. Yan, tama yan. So, it's about 20, yeah. 100, or you may surprise you know that there is, or there are 206 bones in the body of an adult. Yeah. All bones are arranged in special way to make your body function well. Sipin mo na lang kung yung kamay mo, 
hindi ganun yung pagkaka-arrange ng bono. Hindi mo mga, ano, makukuha yung gusto mo. Diba? To better illustrate function of skeletal system in the human body, imagine your body as a house. If the supporting structure of the house are removed, it cannot stand anymore. Diba, merong bahay, may mga poste yun na nagsusuporta. Tanggalin mo yung poste, pabagsak yun. Parang ganun din sa skeletal system. So, ayan, no? So, ayan, magkakadugtong sila. Para siyang bahay. Pag na-remove mo lang to, ito ko na, remove mo, babagsak na. Diba? So, much like the framework of the house, the skeletal system is necessary to maintain the shape of your body. Without it, you cannot stand erect or maintain an upright position. Hindi ka makakatayo kung wala kang bato. The bones in your back and the rest of your body support your weight to enable you to do things. Ayan. 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 So, the skeletal system maintains the shape of the body. Skeletal systems also support the weight of your body. Ayan. Kung sobrang taba mo na, ayan. Ang nagsusupport yan ay yung ating skeletal system. So, aside from giving support to and providing the framework of your body, the skeletal system also does a lot of other things. Yeah, for example, you are walking in a crowded street and somebody punch you in your chest. Yeah, sinuntok ka sa dibdib. You feel pain from being hit. Nevertheless, your heart and lungs are unhurt. Sinuntok ka pero hindi naman na tama, hindi naman direct na nasuntok yung puso mo. Unless the force is too great na hindi na kayang isupport na buto mo. The hard structure of skeletal system shielded your internal organs na tinatawag. Ayan o. Rib cage. Tawag yun. Nagsusupport sa puso saka sa lungs. Kaya pag tinuso ka ng ice pick eh, sa lungs kasi diretso yun eh. Tumatagos siya. In that way, hindi ka naprotektahan ng buto mo. Kaya mas delikado. So, the bones also serve as attachment for muscles. Yeah. Human beings move because of the contraction of this muscle. Try mong galawin yung kamay mo yun. Yan yung tinatawag na contraction of muscles. When the muscle contracts or shorten, the bones they are attached to are also pulled by the action. And it causes us a movement. Pag, nag, pag uh, ginagalaw mo, sinashorten mo yung, ano, yung muscle. Oh, galaw yung buto mo. Although the muscle can move on their own, big body movements are not possible without a skeletal system. Kaya kung ano, may problema sa skeletal system, may hirap ka tumayo, ganun. The bones have to move in order for the whole body to move. Can you think of three examples of movement that your body can make? How do you think each of this movement achieve? Sige, isip kayo ha. Bigyan ko kayo ng 15 minutes. Isip kayo ng tatlong movement ng katawan ninyo na nagagawa ninyo. And tatingin nyo paano siya gumalaw. Paano nyo na-achieve yung pagalaw na yan. Pakichat nyo na ba? Running. Ano yung explanation? Kailangan na explanation. Okay? Okay, we have final 15 minutes.
Okay, okay na siguro yun. Huwag na natin paabutin ng 15 minutes. Basta tayo na sagat, ha? Sabi ni Iwa, walking and running it is to give a lot of benefits like health to live. Okay. Ang tanong dito, how do you think each of these movements is achieved? In Tagalog, ano sa tingin nyo yung uh, paano na-achieve yung paggalaw na yun? Parang ganun. Ayan. Push up, planking, running. Okay. So, your body is able to move because muscles are attached to bones. Kasi nakadikit yung, ano, eh, yung muscles natin sa bones. Pansinin yung baboy, yung buto-buto na, ba, na sinigang na baboy. Sarap, di ba? Nakadikit yung laman doon sa buto. Ganun din sa atin. Muscles are made of tissue, fibers that are able to contract. Sinabi contract, gumagalaw. Ayan. You can feel your muscle contract whenever you flex your arm. Try nyo i-flex yung arm nyo. Or lift heavy objects. Contracting muscles, bulge, and flex your arm now. Can you feel massy muscles contracting? Di ba yun sa ano nyo, muscles, nagko-contract siya. Try nyo mag-push up ng 100 ngayon, tapos tumigil kayo. Bukas, okay kayo mag-push up. So, nagko-contract siya. So, muscles are attached to bones on at least two points by dense fibrous structures called tendons. Ayan. Ano ba yung Tagalog ng tendons? Alam ko, lipid. Tendon din. <laughs> Alam ko, lipid when muscles contract, bones are moved and brought closer to each other. Try mo, i-ganan yung kamay mo, mag-fist ka. Diba? Nagiging close yung mga bones. Ayan. This series of muscle contraction cause your body to move. Ayan. And So, observe nyo yung picture. Na Pag nagano ka, lumalaki yung muscles mo dito. Kasi nag- Tama. And then, hindi ako putol-putol nag, ano lang ako, nag-mute ako. Kasi sinitignan ko yung mga chat ninyo. Okay. So, muscles are attached to the bones on at least two points. Yan, o. Ito yung point A, ito yung point B. Then, pag kinontract mo siya, paglalapitin niya yung dalawa. Yan. So, study of the series, study the series of movements below. These movements are caused by orderly contractions of muscles one after the other. Yan. Hindi ako makamute. So, ito, biceps. Yeah. Pag, pag nag-contract yung bicep, nakarelax yung tricep. Pag uh, nag-relax naman yung tricep, yung bicep, nag-relax yung... Uh, pag nag-relax yung bicep, nag-contract naman yung bicep, ano, tricep. Try nyo sa ending nyo. Sino rin dito yung mga nag-gym? So, when your arm muscles flex, the bones in your arms are brought closer to each other. Another set of muscles contract while the previous contracting muscles relax. 
this series of con contraction cause the body to move. Ganyan din yung sa paa, kung naglalakad ka, tumatakbo ka, parehas lang. So, the skeletal system is made up of bones that are very hard. Tigas yan. Kaya nga pag may sakit ka eh, yung bone maro. Bones are hard because they contain, ano yan? Calcium. Calcium is a mineral that get, gets deposited in our bones and teeth to make them tough and sturdy. Aside from providing bones with the strength, calcium also has the important role in other bodily function. It is important requirement for the impulse transmission in the nervous system and the movement of the heart muscles. Hence, because bones store calcium, the skeletal system has a role in regulating the calcium supply of the body. Anong, anong pagkain? Anong pagkain ba pinagmumula ng calcium? Pinag-aralan natin yan muna karan. Sige nga, tingin nga. Check nyo nga. Gatas, di ba? Bones are hard because they contain 99% yan, calcium. 99% of the body stored calcium is found inside the bone. Sa loob siya ng bone. Calcium is also needed for proper functioning of the nervous system and the heart. Rest them. So lastly, milk. Oh, milk. Normally. The bones of the skeletal system contains bone marrow yan so merong calcium merong bone marrow which is important in the production of blood yan. it is found in the middle portion of long bones yan nasa gitna siya hence yan yung dilaw eh no? yung masarap sa ano baka pag ginawa mong mami yan hence the skeletal system also has the important role in the production of blood through the bone na, ano, na marrow. So, bones contains bone marrow, the site of production of blood cells that supply oxygen and nutrients to the body. So, kung wala kang bone, hindi, hindi makakaproduce na oxygen yung katawan mo. Kasi dun yun, pinuproduce sa gitna ng bone marrow. So, isipin natin, naglalakad tayo isang araw and discovering that you do not have a single bone in your body. <laughs> and your entire skeletal system is gone. What would you do? Imagine how you would look, what things you would not be able to do, and how will you move? Ano sa tingin nyo, isang araw mawalan kayo ng mga buto? Ano mangyayari? <laughs> Ngayon, dahil sa na-realize yun na, so na-realize yun na rin na importante yung skeletal system. Makainom mo ng gatas mamaya ang gabi. Ay mamaya bago matulog. So, true or false ah, itong pito. Lagyan nyo lang, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's yung sagot, ha?
Okay, so, <coughs> tapos na siguro yan. Sagutin na natin, ha. Okay, may sumasagot pa rin. So, number one, ayan, sagutin natin. The human skeletal system is found inside the body. True or false? True. Nasa loob yun, eh. May nakita ka na ba na, ano, buto nasa labas? <laughs> Yung kalaban ni Naruto, gano'n, diba? Yung nasa labas yung buto. Ito, number two. Bones make up the skeletal system. True. Ayan. Number three. Bones are hard because of the minerals. Mineral phosphorus. Phos. Hard siya kasi dahil sa calcium. Teeth and bones are similar in mineral content. True. Parang sila buto, eh. The muscular system makes the body move with the help of the bones through a series of contraction. True. The skeletal system protects vital organ like the heart and lungs. True. The skeleton acts as a framework of the human body. True. And so, lahat ba naka-perfect? Okay, so lesson 2 sa susunod sa Saturday. Okay, so hopefully hindi, ta, hindi mawala ng internet. Kahapon kasi nakaredy na ako eh. Actually, umuwi ako ng maaga para doon. Then I found out wala kaming internet. Sorry for that. Okay, so I hope may natutunan ko ngayon. Medyo pa happy ako lang. And sikapin natin na ma ma matapos natin sa susunod na linko. Kasi wala na tayong ano eh, ituturo sa learning strand actually. So, siguro magkakaroon kayo ng ibang teacher. Um, depende. Depende sa mga mangyayari. Gusto nyo pa rin ba ako magtuturo sa inyo? Kahit hindi na learning strand to. <laughs> Kasi learning strand 2 talaga yun yung minaster ko eh. Hmm, okay, sige. Tignan natin ako may tuturo ko sa inyo yun. Kasi kung hindi ko alam, hindi ko pwede ituro. Ha? Huwag doon na madali lang. Hindi ka naman alam. Hindi ko pwede ito. Ito eh. Okay. So, kung wala na kayong tanong, dating gawin, attendance, sulat ang pangalan at ang apelido at sabihin ng salitang present. Sampai jumpa Bye, good night sa inyo Bye bye